going to show you honestly this previously but this will be a less rambly straight to the point how to drift video I'm sorry about the length of these videos but there's a lot I to hit on especially in this video um, I'm gonna do it right from the beginning with you guys I currently own Toyota 86 and also own the BMW M4 I am going to go right out buy a new car sorry buy a new car I've never used before um, uh, if you haven't seen my last video um, the, basically the premium or the produ regular production cars currently have no way to upgrade the transmission or the shift time um, which makes them very inadequate for drifting the GR4 car is more preferred especially by me um, one being you can't really add um, body kits or wings onto your car and the GR4s are more aesthetically pleasing um, than the production cars especially in my opinion but the downforce given by the splitters and the wings are not great enough to affect drift speed or performance uh, while drifting so I do stick with the GR4 cars um, I've not seen anyone drift the Honda Genesis and I have not tried doing it myself so I'm going to go ahead and try that. Um, now yeah, th they are pretty pricey, but you get, this one's almost 400 horsepower, the car already weighs 3,000 pounds. Uh, trying to do that with a production car is going to run you, <sighs> oh sorry, most of the time it's going to run you about the same amount. Um using mileage points obviously um, mileage points are <laughs> worth way more than money they are it's going to be pretty hard to acquire unless you go online and do the 200 lap oval races that last hours um, now usually what I do uh, I just bought the car I'm not going to go at it my decals and stuff usually <laughs> That's the first thing I do, but first we're going to go ahead and just jump straight into a tune. I'm just going to put a bass, simple, simple tune on this car, enough to know, like, feel comfortable trying to get the car sideways. Um, obviously, no traction control. Um, like I said, the power in these cars, the power you're getting in these cars, and the weight is almost perfect. You will, should not have to level up the horsepower or the weight in this car. We're going to go ahead and run Comfort Hards. I always run Comfort Hards, and so should you. I ran it about it last time. Just I run them, and so should you. Um, brake balance, balance, we're going to set to 5 in the rear. Um, just to make the car more stable if you do have to use the brakes in the corner. Um, ride height, I always set the rear down uh, all the way. And then I level out the front to match the rear. Now the natural frequency, um, I'm not going to go into the technicals uh, about the natural frequency, we're not going to, I mean if you really are uh, concerned with it, they do give you the description, would be over there for each one, um, 8 on the anti roll bars, um, we're going to go mm, 50, 54 and then 84 and leave these at 55 and 85. I'm going to set my negative camber to 2. Also, if you haven't seen the last video, I'll explain negative camber to you. When you counter steer or when you steer in general, it naturally adds a positive camber to the front of the vehicle. Now, what we do with the negative camber is we counteract the positive camber giving you as much surface area to the ground when you're counter steering to really keep give you as much um, chance to counter steer give you as much control while you're counter steering uh, toe angle we're going to set to zero in the front and we're just going to leave the rear downforce we're going to drop all the way now 
I know in the last video I said this as well. Um, 150 and 450 seems like an extreme amount in comparison to GT5 and 6. This game, the downforce I've seen go up to almost 3,000. So this is very, very minute amount of downforce. This is almost non-existent. And then uh, fully customizable. Um, most of your GR4 should have this as the only option, but if not, make sure. Um, transmission fully customizable and set the top speed to 155. I think that's good. Now I'm going to go straight into the drift trial. We're going to do an easy, easy track. You should also probably... This is probably one of the easiest tracks to learn on. Go straight to Suzuka and just go up and down the windy S corners on, this, on the far side. Um, it just picks Suzuka. If you pick Suzuka East, it is adjacent from the straightaway, so you just go around the first corner. All those S's are perfect. <sighs> wow. Oof. Control set. Oh, I know what happened. Sorry. Hold on one second for me. I uh, yeah, I accidentally tuned it on the uh, road option versus the drift option, so I just had to go back and click road. That's that's why I had traction control. Oh, falling apart. Bear with me here. We'll try this again. Now, for most of you, you've probably played GT5 or 6, so you get the idea how you need to initiate your corners. Do you, whether you're an e brake initiator, just a throttle initiator, a manji initiator, whatever you are. But in this game, it's really been difficult. Oop, this car is. they're not very responsive. Um, it's really been difficult. I found the tune I just gave you, especially the middle of the transmission, the second gear, it, it really gives you, jeez, I don't know if it's a or the um, the turbo's going on in that car, it's a really good one, but I found just, just even the second and third gear, it's, it's really your, here I am showing you how to drift. I'm not really doing it. Um, second and third gear really is your point. So you really need to do um, Second is just a really versatile gear. And in this, this game, throttle control really is a plays a big part in your, in your drift as it should but in this game wheel speed is everything if you want to keep the car sideways you need to stay in that fine line just just enough and not too much if you get too much wheel speed you're going to spin out but if you get not enough wheel speed you're going to do that you're, you're going to snap back tell this is let's go around this corner. Take on third gear. Most wheel speed. Now, if I really lay in the third gear, no matter how much counter steering I'm doing, eventually the car will come around on you. Um, same thing in second gear. I don't know if it'll do it on this uphill corner, but if I just mass it, really counter steering. Somewhere in the corner, it's gonna snap back at you. You 
need to walk that uh, fine line. So if we'll go back down the hill. We'll initiate this corner. Uh, right through this corner, I don't know if you can tell. Too much real speed. I didn't get to say what I was trying to say before I did, but I was trying to prove. Uh, if, you, if you are gonna really mat the gas, you're gonna have to do it in a lower gear, like second gear. The counter steering is, is gonna be super twitchy. You have to go full lock, but if you feel like the car might be trying to snap back or it looks like it's starting to straighten out, go ahead and, and set that wheel right back to center. Um, the car will come right right back around it and we'll get sideways again and then go ahead and counter steer it. And it's going to be a really twitchy motion. It's not going to be super slow. You're going to have to go back and forth quite a lot. Um, But as you can tell, it, this is all second gear, but I'm not bouncing off the road where I can put it just pick a gear that would be your speed through the corner and really just be mad at it. It's not really possible. If you're a third gear, I'm barely making it to half throttle some of those corners. But also, I mean, at the same time, this is really something you have to take the time you go practice on your own, just like I'm doing here. Um, even if you just do a drift trial, it's as you can go back and forth, up and down until you get, get that one thing. You can go ahead and try it so you can get two in a row. And just think about what you did right on those runs and try it again every time. And move over to like um, Dragon Tail or Trail, whatever they call it. This will really give you, give you the idea on how the car is going to react and what you need to do. Um, one of the biggest things is, um, here, we'll give you an example. I'll show you. It's really hard to tell you what you're doing wrong. I'm going to try and walk through a couple of scenarios and what happens. We send it deep into this corner. Or you feel like you're going to go out and you do rip the e-brake. Um, well, the reason we set the brake balance all the way um, to the rear is the reason we set the brake balance all the way to the rear is a perfect example. We send it in way too deep. It's going to start to come out on us. If we are to... messing up in the beginning of the video not drifting. Now I'm trying to not drift and I'm doing good 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 drifts. Alright, we're gonna send a deep in this car. Now if you try to save it for the e-brake, just like that, you slide out. I was carrying way too much speed into that corner. I would have I most definitely would have either snapped back because I was off the gas, um, trying to slow down. Or would have spun out. Um, because I was carrying too much speed. Actually, I probably would have split up the corner. Um, where, like, I'm holding the plane brake. And I just, it just, I stayed sideways and skidded up. But I was slowing down. I hit the e brake there. It's almost out of control. This 
All this rambling has really done something for you. If uh, I, I probably will keep adding parts into the series, um, of how tos as questions come in, or if I see anything else, uh, if I find anything else I can think of to that I've encountered or people I've talked to that had an issue when they first started. But hopefully this, the last one is more rambling. This one turned into rambling at the end, but hopefully this helped you something, do something, helped you a little, whatever. And the Genesis was okay, by the way. I started off a little sluggish, but I, f I figured out the torque in the beginning. So I don't knock the Honda. The Honda was good. BMW M4 is great. Toyota 86, GR4 was great to start on. That was what I started with. It's fant they're all fantastic. All the GR4 front rears are have been great as f everyone that I've used so far. So, all right. Until next time. <laughs>